Hello, my name is Steve. I'm the founder of The Mad Seat. Uh, we're gonna, today we're going to be talking a little bit about a game we developed called Exit Loop. We developed this for the Nintendo Entertainment System exclusively for the Midwest Gaming Classic or in partnership with the Midwest Gaming Classic. Um, this is a limited release game. Uh, it's available now. Um, so if you want it, it's printed on NES cartridges. You can go buy it from the Gold Store. I will link that in the description. Uh, the reason we're doing this video is for a couple of reasons. Um, one is just to do a general showcase of the gameplay, but also uh, because we hid a lot of things in the game, a lot of uh, Easter eggs and hidden rooms and stuff like that. And I'm going to explain the gameplay as I go through here a little bit or as I show it off, but I'm also going to show you how to find one of the hidden rooms and then um, sort of give you a, a hint on how to find the other ones. So let's jump right in here. First thing you'll notice is that we did bake the tutorials directly into the game itself, although the game does ship with a small booklet as well. So it is a platformer. Uh, the goal is to get to the exit of the game and you pick up those little treasures along the way. Um, it's uh, roguelike, I guess, so to speak, in the fact that if you get hit once, you die. So those two things there, the spikes and the platypi, don't hit them because you will die. So the game is multi-path, multi-solution. Uh, as you can see, we have some arrows pointing down there, but you can also go over here and go that way as well. Um, there are multiple ways to get to the exits of the game, um, and no one way is right so long as you survive. So let's hop up here, watch out for the spikes. So you notice right there, there's a little opening on the far left there. You cannot get there from this room no matter how hard you try. That is a hidden room that, unless you glitch out the game, uh, you have to get there a different way. So we tried to make all of the different hidden rooms um, noticeable with that sort of prompt. Like if there's a entrance, somewhere, or if there's an open area somewhere, then you can get to that area, or you can get to that entrance or exit in some way. You just gotta figure it out. So we're gonna go down here, we'll hop down here, we're gonna end this run shortly here. So, got to the exit, and when we hit that exit, it says you want to try again. So, now that we did that, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get to one of the actual hidden rooms. Um, that was a mistake. Got past that treasure, we don't really need it. Um, so... Let's do this. I don't want to give away all of the secrets of the game. <laughs> so, if you look here, if you look down that lower left hand corner, I'm going to bring my mouse, I'm emulating this, uh, but if you look down here where my mouse is, you'll see there's an open area there. So, knowing what I said before, you should know that you can get there in some way or another. So I'm going to give you this one. You hop up here, and you can fall right down. So, this is a hidden room area. There are benefits to the hidden room areas. As you can see, there is a lot more treasure here. And I'll do this. So obviously, a lot of treasure here too, right? Um, and there is a hidden exit. <laughs> That exit would not be available if you did not find the hidden room. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how um, the game sort of plays out. Like I said, it's multi-path, multi-solution, so there are a lot of ways to actually beat the levels, or beat the level, um, beat the game, and then go back to the start. Uh, we encourage you to look for all those hidden rooms and areas. If you find one, feel free to post it up and let us know. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, also, feel free to let us know. You can find us on 
our Indie DP page, our uh, Discord channel, our Facebook page, the whole nine yards. I'll put all those links in the description as well. Until next time.